Auxiliary's View by Robert Murphy Greetings from beautiful Kansas We recently returned from the BVA 78th National Convention in St. Louis. It was a wonderful week filled with information and camaraderie. Although I have been to only two previous conventions, the turnout and support for the BVA Auxiliary, BVAA, was the largest I had seen yet. The newly elected BVAA Board of Directors is up and running, looking forward to a great year ahead. Consistent with a custom of the recent past, the officers and their hometowns are listed on the inside back cover of each print version of the bulletin and at the beginning of the audio recordings and email versions. Future auxiliaries view columns will most often come from Hurtis Lilly. Additionally, we now have an appointed chaplain who is not listed with the other elected offices, Roxy Williams of Las Vegas, Nevada. Since this year finds us in a rebuilding phase, we found it imperative to leave the convention with at least the bylaws committee and the membership committee in place. We thank them, and many more for their willingness to serve. Our initial goals are to get organized, compliant, and consistent in our communications with one another. Look for Zoom meetings soon for the purpose of getting acquainted with members from around the country. We are also planning on hand-picked special guests to inform and encourage us as caregivers. Let us reflect on our BVAA mission as stated in the preamble to our bylaws, last updated in 2006 and approved as an official document by then BVA National President Larry Belote and Executive Director Tom Miller. We, as members of the National Blinded Veterans Association Auxiliary, in order to aid the Blinded Veterans Association in whatever fashion we are able and to develop a deeper and more widespread interest in that organization, among family members and friends, and to preserve and strengthen a spirit of fellowship among auxiliary members so that they may give mutual aid and assistance to one another, do adopt and establish these bylaws. During this period of transition for us, a brief history lesson is also in order. At a meeting at BVA National Headquarters in Washington, D.C., on November 19, 1976, the BVA Executive Committee, acting on behalf of the National Board of Directors, sanctioned the beginning of the organizational process for a BVA auxiliary. The meeting followed a discussion at the 31st National Convention in Philadelphia, three months earlier, in which BVA members and their spouses strongly supported a national auxiliary and auxiliary regional groups that would support each BVA regional group. Leading the effort with the greatest enthusiasm was Renee Feldman, wife of blinded veteran Leon Feldman. Renee served as BVAA's first national president, and the person for whom the Auxiliary Scholarship would later be named. BVAA received its first charter in early 1977 and, under Renee's direction, held a full scale of popular meetings at the BVA 32nd National Convention in Washington, D.C.